In this video, we're going to show why square root of 2 is irrational. When we learn the numbers, we start the numbers, uh, the positive integers. We first learn numbers 1, 2, 3, so on. And then afterwards, we learn this actually exists integers of 0 and minus 1, minus 2, the negative integers. And then the next step, when we learn, we learn fractions like in the form of 1 over 3, 2 over 5, and we learn decimals like 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 1.5. All these numbers belong to the category of rational numbers. What are rational numbers? Rational numbers can be represented as a fraction of one integer m divided by an, another integer n. So m over n. Both m and n are integers. So numbers in this form are called rational numbers. For a long time, people thought that rational numbers are all there is. Um, all the numbers are rational numbers. Actually, I want to point out for decimals, clearly decimals can be written as fractions. So 0 0.1 is equals 1 over 10, right? So decimal numbers are the same as fraction numbers. They all belong to the category of rational numbers. And then, in around 300 BC, people realized that there are numbers that are not rational numbers. And that was a big surprise. In particular, I think the first number people realized was not a rational number was square root 2. So in here, we're going to show that square root 2 is not a rational number. It actually comes with a name called an irrational number, negating rational. Okay, we prove by this technique called contradiction. Proof by contradiction. And we're going to see this technique over and over, how we do that. Let's assume that square root 2 instead is a rational number. And we're going to show contradictions derived from this assumption. Let's assume square root 2 is a rational number. So it can be written as m over n, where m is a positive integer, n is a po positive integer. And it is in the simplest form. Which means m and n do not have a common factor, right? If they have a common factor, it is not a simplest form. So which means that the GCD greatest common factor of m and n is 1. Okay, so far we assume that square root 2 is a rational number and the technique of proof by contradiction is going to show that from this assumption we're going to get something that is inconsistent with this assumption. Okay, we're assuming square root 2 equals m over n and GCD of m n equals 1. All right, so square root 2 equals m over n, so that means square root 2 times n equals n. We'll multiply n by both sides. And then this means if we square both sides, it means 2n squared equals m squared. Now both m and n are positive integers. The fact that the left side of the equation is an even number means that the right side 
is also an even number. So which means that m is even. All right, if m is even, we're going to write m equals to k. Which means that if we take m equal to k, for some k, because m is even, always can be written as 2 times another integer, k, 2 times k. Plug into this equation, we get 2n squared equals 2k squared, which equals 4k squared. This is the same as n squared equals 2k squared. Correct? So, because the right side is an even number, that means the left side has to be an even number. So that means n is even as well. Now we have m is even and n is even. But then that means GCD of mn is not 1. They have a common factor of 2. And this is inconsistent or contradicts with our assumption that GCD of mn equals 1. Let me write down. So GCD here, mn, is going to be bigger than 2. But we have GCD of mn equals 1 from the assumption. So this is contradiction. And why we have this contradiction? Because we are making this assumption square root 2 equals m over n is a rational number. So which means that this assumption is not true, which means that square root 2 is irrational. Correction. In the video, near the end, I said the GCD of mn is bigger than 2. That's not entirely correct. I should change the GCD of mn is at least 2, so it's bigger than or equal to 2. And so on the right side, it's bigger than or equal to 2, but we assume that GCD mn equals 1, so here's the contradiction. And where the contradiction comes from is because of the assumption that square root 2 is a rational number. So that assumption cannot be right. So square root 2 is irrational. And this technique is called proof by contradiction. It's going to be super important.